Hmm. Howdy folks, how y'all doing tonight? It's a warm summer night. I thought I'd share some of my purchases here. Uh, I like German graphic work. Uh, I used to like the German Expressionists. I suppose I will guiltily confess that I still do, I suppose. But, uh, I, I prefer, as far as graphic arts go, I prefer, like, I guess the Italian masters, they do the best stuff. But there's a soft spot, spot in my heart for some of these old German guys. I don't know how you say this guy's name, Albrecht Durr. Is that how you say it? Like, Durr. I don't know. But I got some of his graphic work. I got a book of his drawings, which, you know, eh, I don't know. A pest, a little charcoal. And like pastel type drawings and stuff like that. They're okay. Like there's some pen and ink. Not very much though. Precious little. But there's some pen and ink. He does a good pen and ink. Um, and that's that study or sketch or something. You know. But what? And there's some some hot some hot uh, medieval women. Woo woo. <laughs> and but so that does. But what I like better is is like what we got here. This is his etchings and engravings, which are are pretty cool. You know, a lot of, a lot of looking at this kind of stuff, it's like, it's really kind of, it's kind of corporal, it's kind of twisted, I don't know. But it, it, it gets my imagination going, looking at this kind of stuff. You definitely get a very, very tangible, oh, sort of melancholy mood from this kind of stuff, you know? At least I do. But yeah, this is his, his, his etchings and engravings, which is very nice. But the, what the best stuff he does, uh, what I liked about the German Expressionist as well, was a woodcut work. You know, because you get more of a you kind of get, you get the feeling of the of the struggle between the artist and the material here. You know, because uh, wood is, is something you got to struggle with more. Not like a, etching or engraving is basically just like you know drawing or scratching. But you know, wood cut you got to cut into the wood, and uh, that's interaction between you and the and, and and the dead wood. I think leaves. Uh, expresses itself on, on the pictures you make and uh, anyway I love this stuff you know that must be some really nice uh, nice wood he used to cut these things a lot of times well one thing the, the expression is what they would do is they would make use of the fact there'd be a grain in the wood and that would kind of influence the composition but this you know you can't let the if you're doing something like this you got to have something with that much of a grain in it I don't know what kind of wood they use. I'll be very interested to find out because I've, I've done some wood cuts myself. Nothing as detailed as this, though, I can tell you. But uh, it was a little more crude and a lot more crude. You did your grandfather's portrait in wood, did you not? I think that might have been linoleum, actually. Uh, but anyway, this is, like, this, is, this, is, this is awesome stuff. I love this stuff. Dog. <laughs> it's like a, I think more of a lion, I think. Yeah. Some kind of apocalyptic creature from Revelation or something, I guess. But yeah, this is really cool stuff, isn't it? I love it. I know a lot of people go, oh man, I want to get some markers and color yeah, this I'm stuff. Yeah, I was thinking the exact <laughs> same thing. Wouldn't it be fun to print these out and color them? Yeah, I would. I used to make, I used to make a print. So what I would do is I would like, I would make a print. You know, and then I would like do another print and then I would color it with like ink washes or something like that. But I always want to leave like even with the pen and ink. So I like to make a copy of the pen and ink drawing and then and then I I'd color it and then do a copy of it colored, you know, because I think that just the line work by itself is 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 a statement worth preserving. And then the colored stuff is like an entirely different work, you know, and I, I like to have a record of both because I think they both stand alone. But yeah, so this is his, uh, his his woodcut stuff, which is I think of the three books are the best. Now I almost bought a book of his paintings too, but you know I figured eh, there was a really inexpensive one I had particular eyes on, but you know I didn't really need to get it because this is really all I need. And when I start drawing again, I think I'm gonna like be really looking at a lot of these uh, these pictures. I mean, just uh, you get a you get, you get ideas from looking at this stuff. Not so much ideas for actual, you know, things to draw, you know, situations to draw, or, or even creatures to draw, or anything like that. But it's just like I don't know, you just just uh, some just a way to like you t re take in this this feeling you get from this kind of work and like reach interpret it and like spit it back out and make some third entirely different thing. I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, it's just really this I don't know. I guess it's 
This is like little spot illustrations for books, I guess. I don't know. Nothing really ambitious. These look like little placards or cards or something. But yeah, it's uh, pretty cool stuff, isn't it? I like it. I mean, it does look kind of ugly. That's why I like it. Oh, the Italian stuff, it, 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 it gets, it's a lot classier, you know? It doesn't have this, like, kind of twisted, sort of haggard appearance, which which I think I'm fine with, you know? But I understand, I understand that uh, it's... I used to, like everybody else, used to struggle about being more subtle in my work until I got to a certain point where I just decided, like, the ugliness was fine. And plus, I was in the art scene, and you know who runs the art scene, and they don't have any problem with ugliness. And so I was never discouraged from expressing the ugly corporal aspects of what I was depicting or interpreting. But, oh, yeah, Albrecht Dürer. I wish I knew how to say his name properly. I never heard anyone say it, actually. I've only seen it in print. But, yeah, pretty awesome stuff, eh? Look at this. Looks like they're burning up. A saint or a witch or something in that one, isn't it? Pretty cool. But yeah, so. Oh gosh. Uh, burn, baby, burn, burn. It's going burn, baby, do better, boom, baby. Alright. See you guys, alright. So, see you next video. Bye.